good day friends it is me hl my tech and i am back in tinkercad today my friends a user said hey how about you create a future car so my friends let's get cracking all right friends let's start with create new design like any project let's start by naming it i am going to put future car and my initials mdh with our work plane to the front, let's instead of basic shapes, go to all shapes and go all the way out to page number 16. Takes several clicks to get there, but my friends, it is worth it because on page 16, they've got this sweet little dude called the Bezier Bean. Bring him out and let's look at him from the right or the right corner. And then use fit view so we can zoom in and see what he looks like. So believe it or not, this is what I've decided we're going to make our sweet little car with. We need to make a couple adjustments though. Start with this um, Fallus height and instead of 4.1, make it 1. And then go down to the arch height and make it 1. Those are the smallest we can make those. And then sit back and chill while you wait for it to actually do the adjustment. After a moment, you'll see it flatten out, and this gives us the shape I want, but it's not quite such a hump, so we can actually add a place for people to sit. So if we zoom back out, that is a tiny car. We're going to stretch it out with the black handles, and then we're going to type the number 70. So that's how long our car is going to be, 70 millimeters or 7 centimeters. Stretch it out this way, and I want you to type 30 for the width of the car. And then turn it on an angle and we want to make it 16 high now i stretched those before i changed them you didn't have to but that's how you end up with the car body i'm going to change the car body to white just because that feels kind of cool to me and let's go back to basic shapes and slice this design just a little bit so i just want you to bring out the whole box and when you set it down let's zoom out so we can see everything and make sure that whole box is bigger than the whole project and change its height to two and then let's align those so that we're sure we've got it all selected i'm going to click the white piece and say i want it in the middle and the middle when i see that i've got them lined up i'm going to group them don't worry about this it'll just take a second for it to apply and there after 10 or 15 seconds, you've got your shape and hit D to drop it to the level. That's going to be our car's body. Let's make it aerodynamic by tucking the wheels inside it. We're going to do that with the round roof. When you bring the round roof out, make sure you look at it from a corner so we can see this rotation angle and rotate it 90 degrees. Remember, if you come out a long ways with the mouse, it goes one degree at a time. If you stay close, it snaps to those 22 and a half degree markings. I want you to hold down shift and shrink this a little, but then I want you to type the number 12 in the box. What that does is it shrinks it in every direction, the same amount, C1212, and then this will be half a 12 for where it goes up. I want you to take this side where it's gonna stick into the car, and I want you to change that number to eight and press enter. Grab these two items, and once again, we're going to do a line, but get used to this. We're going to click on the body of the car because we want it to line up with that. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to click somewhere else. And I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge that back to where I want the first wheel. I'm going to make it a hole. And then I'm going to do Control D, which I also could have clicked this, and use the arrow keys and make the second wheel hole where I want. When I've got those two where I want, I'm going to click on one of them, hold down shift, and click the other, and I want to group them. We are going to take that group, and let's make sure it's lined up by once again clicking a line, clicking this edge, and clicking this edge. We're going to do duplicate again. This time I'll use the button. I could have done the other. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it across-ish. I'm going to draw a rectangle that touches those two items. Once again, the magic align tool. Click on the white piece where we want it to line up and pop. You've got four wheel wells aligned almost instantly. Now that we've got our wheel wells in place, select everything and group them. Once again, because this is complex, it does take a while to group. Make sure you're patient. 
on the basic shapes, let's bring out a cylinder. It comes out at 20 by 20. We want to take the length and make it 25 and press enter. I'm going to move it over towards the middle of my shape. And then I'm going to align it once again, click in the white piece and I'm going to say center and I'm going to say center, but then I'm going to look at it and I'm actually going to change it to 30. So it's a little for further towards the back of my car than it is the front. The next step is we've got to raise it up. I'm going to do that by doing control up arrow and raise it four. One, two, three, four. I'll shrink this down just so it's not silly big and let's group it. All right, friends, with that body in place, let's add some sweet headlights. Bring out the cylinder hole, hold down shift, squish it so it changes everywhere and type the number four. This will be the size of the hole where the headlight sits. Rotate it so it's close to the shape 90 degrees. And then let's stretch it out using that little black handle until it says 20 or 25. We're gonna take this and select it, align it. We're gonna click the middle and click the middle. We're gonna to switch to a five millimeter grid. Make sure you do that because it makes this a lot easier. We're gonna do control up, so it's five millimeters up. And then we're gonna do control D. And then if we knock this out five millimeters to one direction and five millimeters to the other, we've got a nifty spot to put our headlights. I'm gonna switch back to the one millimeter grid and I'm gonna move those one more each way because I think that looks just a little cooler, but it's faster that way. Now, before we cut these out, because that looks pretty neat, we want to make the headlight piece. So once again, we're going to duplicate, which could have been Control D. And then I'm going to just use the arrows to move those out for a minute from now. I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to group it. Now, when you see these red lines, make sure you're patient. These are lasting 20 and 30 seconds because of how complex the shape is, but that's also part of what makes it fun. While we're waiting for that to turn solid, let's take these two, notice it says two shapes, and let's make them solid and make them yellow like their headlights. I'm gonna shrink them down to two millimeters thick. Make sure you've clicked on just one, go to the bevel box, type the number two, and press enter. Click on that second one, put a two there, and press enter as well to lock in that sweet bevel. Now I can take my two nifty headlights, and using the arrow keys, we can drop them right into those holes where they'd be on our sweet ride. I'm gonna pull mine out one more forward, and I like that. I am gonna lock those in place real quick by grabbing everything, selecting that group. When we do group, it will change to that white color, but my friends, we are gonna quickly click the color box. <laughs> or yellow, I guess, and we'll turn multicolor back on. So that way it keeps all the colors we were expecting. Let's real quickly create a sweet seat. Bring out your box and... Mm. Let's real quickly create a seat. Bring out a box, hold down shift and squish it, then type the number eight in the box for how large this will be. Do control D, bring the new one out, make it a hole, hold down shift, and let's take it all the way down to six. You can type six to make sure it gets there as well. Grab those two items. Let's fit view so we're looking at them closely and do a line. We want to align with the red one to the top and the center and the front. See how that fits right in there. It's cool when the seats are rounded, so let's give it a radius of two. I find the easiest way is to type the number in the box. And then if we group those, we will have made a sweet seat. I'm gonna do, and then if we grab, and then let's do shift select so we can grab those two pieces and group them. I'm gonna make my seat black just cause I think that'll look cool in the white car. And then I wanna add a sweet headrest. Let's do that by bringing out the work plane, bringing out the round roof. Zoom out so we can see it better. Hold down shift. And if we do it from the top, I know that we want this number to be size three to fit on our chair grate. If we select the two of them, 
we can do a line and remember we want it to the back I'm gonna click on the chair so it knows which one and we want it to the middle I would like to add a sweet headrest to this because this is supposed to be a fast car. So I'm going to hit work plane and try and land right on that flat edge. I'm going to bring out a round roof. I'm going to hold down shift and I know I want this to be less than eight. So I'm going to go all the way down to six. For the thickness of it, I'm going to make it two and press enter. Mm, control Z. I'm going to move that into place. And then I'm going to grab those two items and let's do a line. Remember to click on the chair so you can find that center button and we want it to align with the back. When you've got that set, just use this black handle to nudge it back to the exact spot you want. I like that. I'm going to change this to point. I like that, but I want to raise it up and I'm going to do that with the control up button. So that'll be my seat and my headrest. Let's add some little post real quick. Bring out a cylinder, hold down shift, squish it, type the number one for how thick the post will be. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. I'm gonna switch it to gray. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see it. Stretch it a little taller and arrow keys to nudge it into place. I like that, I'm gonna do control D move this to the other side I'm gonna make that one a sweet red and that's a pretty cool looking seat I'm gonna select the original work plane grab it all and group it notice it changes to one color instantly we can bring back our multicolor by doing that now we want to put it up here so let's click the work plane button which is the letter W and when we hit D it drops to that height and we can move it into our vehicle Let's zoom to that spot with the sweet fit view. <laughs> That's looking pretty sweet. Do control D and all of a sudden you've got two seats in your awesome car. You can nudge them so they look exactly where you want. And now it's time to add a steering wheel. First, let's bring out a sphere. Squish it so it's real short. Squish it so it comes back and then find the size that you think is good. I'm not gonna give you numbers here. I'm gonna just adjust it till it does what I want. And all I want is a place where I can attach a steering wheel. This will be like the console on my ride. I'm gonna select those two. I'm gonna do a line. Don't forget, click the middle of the car so that it lines up with the car. Pick a color. I'm gonna go with a grayish black and that's where I'm gonna attach my steering wheel. I'm gonna quickly grab all those parts we've got so far and let's group them so they stay in one place. All right, friends, make sure you're real patient waiting for that to group. And let's go back to the work plane and let's add some sweet wheels. We're gonna do that by clicking on the wheel well with that work plane and then moving down to the all shapes and page number three and bring out a wheel. When it comes out, hold down shift and squish it, and then we are gonna type the number 10. Remember we did size 12 for the wheel well, so 10 is nice because it fits in there and gives us a little bit of space on every side. Click on the color black or whatever color you want for your tires, and then stretch them out so they're as thick as you want. Nudge it to the exact location. You may wanna switch to 0.5. When you've got your first wheel groovy, use the arrow keys to move your second wheel back. Double check to see that it is lined up perfect. Notice I couldn't tell until I arranged it. And then I'm gonna take both those and I'm also gonna hold down shift, select them, and then group them. And then I'm gonna switch to 0.5 on my grid and I'm gonna raise them up. I'm gonna switch back to one millimeter grid. And then this is one of my favorite parts with those two grouped, I'm gonna simply hit duplicate. I'm gonna set my work plane on the other side. And when I press the letter D, they drop to the exact spot I want them. It's that easy to add wheels to our sweet little car.
let's click the work plane and set it back to the ground. And you remember we've got this console for a steering wheel. Let's build our steering wheel super fast using that wheel as well. This time though, I want you to switch to number two. I want you to make it brown so it's like a leather steering wheel. Grab one of these back corners, hold down shift and squish it. And then we want to type the number five and press enter. I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it closer to me just so it's where I'm going to use it in a minute. And then I'm going to zoom into it and make it skinny, one millimeter thick. So that kind of looks like a steering wheel. Let's add a post to our steering wheel quickly by going back to basic shapes, finding the cylinder, holding down shift and shrinking it a little, and then typing the number one for how large we want that to be. Take the height and make it 15. Select the two pieces, make sure it says two shapes, and we want to do center and center, and we want to do top. To make this look a little cooler up top, let's take that bubble and let's make it four. And then I'm also going to make this gray because I think that'll look cooler with the car. And then let's group those two pieces. And of course, once they group, turn that multicolor on. If we look at it from an angle, we can rotate it. I'm going to start with somewhere in the 40 to 60 range and then just use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. Don't forget control up is how you raise it up into your car. I'm going to zoom in with the fit view so I can see it a little better. I'm going to look at it from a corner. <laughs> I like that a lot. I'm going to do control down and you can put yours on either side of the car, wherever they drive in your country. Uh, but you can see that is pretty sweet. Alrighty friends, let's bring this home with an amazing canopy. Bring out a half sphere, use the black handle, and stretch it till it says 35 and press enter. Take the width and make it 25 and press enter. And then take the height, and I'm going to tell you to make it 15. I'm going to set it to an awesome blue, and then the best part of this is I'm going to make it transparent. When we bring this out on our vehicle and do control up, you can see that all of a sudden you've got a cool transparent canopy on your vehicle. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. A sweet little fantastic future car. Friends, there are going to be other videos where we add other cool pieces to it, but for right now, I think that is a good start. If you want to have fun with yours, you may. Friends, if you make something awesome, make sure you share it with us at HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. There's nothing cooler than seeing the awesome things you did with my videos. Also, just want to send out a huge shout out. This was my motorcycle video. Underneath that video, Aisha Nadine took the time to request the future car and oh my gosh, it was so fun. So appreciate when you guys take time to give me the ideas of what we should be creating next. So my friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.